stopped in here on the twin span for no apparent reason. This was coming through. Turned my depth finder on. I was marking a few things. This is way early for this time of year. Way early for specs right now. But there's one right there. And I'm getting tons and tons of bites. I'm catching a bunch of white trout right now. These white trout... I've never really seen them so ganged up like this on any of the bridges. So I don't really fish the bridges this early in the season too often. But in all my years of doing this, I haven't caught so many white trout like I'm doing right now. So can't be a bad sign. Got some specs. Got plenty of white trout. Let's see if we can make a Dockside TV episode right here. All right, well, it's really early in the season for trout to be on the twin span like this. I usually don't start fishing here until about the middle of November, first week of November. But there's a lot of life here already. Mostly white trout I'm seeing, but just a tremendous amount of bites. I mean, just the life down there is unreal. And look, these white trout, they're not bad. Using a shrimp creole right now. Lots of shrimp in the water. That's what we're trying to imitate. Light, lots of fish life in the water. I've never really seen the white trout ganged up on the bridges like this. And hopefully there's enough speckled trout to keep my interest. I mean, I love catching white trout, but you know, everybody's favorite down here in South Louisiana is the good old specks. Let's see how many are down there. Right now, I kind of got a weird situation. I got a pretty good incoming tide coming at my face and like a light northwest wind trying to blow the boat into the bridge and so fighting with the trolling motor in and against this current and wind. It's kind of tricky but there's so many fish down there it's unbelievable. This is a great fish if you're trying to just stock, stock up on some meat Perfect size white trout, clean, real easy. Tastes just as good as, almost as good as specs. They just don't preserve quite as well. Just throw it up into the current, letting it get to the bottom. Let that, let that current do most of the work. Just little dribbles, let it settle back down. That current's pushing that lure around down there, making it look real. That natural gravity of it falling back to the water. These matrix sheds swim beautifully, just swimming back down to the bottom. White Trout City. I'm a big advocate for, and I always say this when I'm fishing around here, you just got to play the hand that's dealt to you. You know, the lake's going through a lot of changes ever since Hurricane Katrina. Some years we got real salty water. Some years it's fresh. Some years the bass fishing's phenomenal. I've seen the drum on these bridges like these white trout are right now. I've never even seen the white trout thick like this before on the bridges per se. But yes, I'm a big fan of whatever's close to where you like to fish. Just take advantage of it, you know? Drum, they eat great. Sheephead, you saw in one of our later episodes. Killing the sheephead, those taste fantastic. White trout taste fantastic. And then we just wait for our opportunity for the trout to move into this estuary. And then we'll attack that. We get several months out of the year. Well, that's really good and you saw just in one of our previous episodes we were already starting to catch some specks on the grass bed so i tried that first thing this morning i was only catching throwbacks i was coming through here so i just checked it for just because just in case and then bam i mean you could you could sink the boat with these little guys all right i got plenty enough they're not really big. I'm just going to let them go now. But just watch how many fish are out here. Let's 
see how many bites we get on this cast here. Takes about 10 seconds to get down. One bite. Two bites. You're going to miss a ton of them when they're smaller species like this. Let's get it back out there. Make sure you let that bait settle to the bottom. No matter what kind of fish you're fishing for in these bridges, it needs to hit the bottom. There's not a hundreds of fish on this one twin, on this one span of pollens, there ain't a one. And they're all cookie cutter, like 10 to 12 inch white trout. That speck that we caught earlier was a pretty decent fish. Again, I don't like to stockpile in the freezer with white trout. I like to catch them enough to eat for that day or maybe that week. They're really well known for not preserving that well in the freezer. So they taste great. They clean the, about the same as specs, but they just don't freeze as well. So there's no point in me keeping a hundred of these things. Speckled trout. Good to see a few of these mixed in. Like I've been saying, as, as it gets colder, these are going to take over. The white trout should move out. And these guys are going to get bigger and take over these bridge piles. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. It's getting pretty redundant of what we're doing, but look for this area of the bridges to be consistently good with some sort of species throughout from here to the end of the year. Right now it's loaded with white trout. It's going to turn into speckled trout any day now once it gets a little bit colder. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is kind of a first for me. Make sure to subscribe to the Monthly Bait Box. Get your hands on one of our number one rated colors, the old Shrimp Creole, which was dynamite today for catching these white trout. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, good fishing.